The single greatest source of urban water pollution isn't industrial wastewater. It's the stormwater that runs off roofs, roads, parking lots, and other hard surfaces every time it rains in the wet northwest. Forests and pastures act as natural sponges that soak up rain and melting snow on the spot. As areas continue to urbanize, pollution problems associated with poorly managed stormwater become more pronounced. Unlike pollution from industrial sources, stormwater pollution is something that we all contribute to. Rain becomes stormwater when it hits the ground and carries away with it pollutants such as chemicals, fertilizers, pet waste, dirt. Many of our streams in Clark County are degraded due to human activities that have impacted water quality, stream flow, and biological health of our streams. Unlike municipal sewage, stormwater that goes into storm drains does not flow through pipes to a wastewater treatment plant. Instead, stormwater is carried through a network of ditches and pipes before it's flushed into our streams and waterways or soaks into the ground, often carrying with it contaminants that can cause serious harm to fish and other aquatic life as well as to our drinking water aquifers. Heavy runoff during larger storms can erode stream banks, filling up salmon spawning beds with sediment and destroying the riparian vegetation that helps keep water cold and healthy for fish. Keeping pollution out of stormwater is about more than just doing what's right for the environment. It's also about protecting property and public health. It's also the law. That's why new developments are required to control and treat stormwater before it leaves their property and the owners of such treatment systems are required to properly maintain them. Local governments have responsibilities under the Federal Clean Water Act and through the Washington State Department of Ecology to monitor stormwater and control stormwater, uh, monitor that stormwater facilities are being properly maintained, and to help educate the public on their responsibilities of keeping our surface waters clean. There are many types of stormwater systems in use throughout Clark County and its cities. It's a mixture of facilities and structures, everything from modern systems that use the latest underground technology to roadside ditches dating back to the 19th century. Behind me here is a typical biofiltration swale, which is the most common facility we see in Vancouver. Um, and really that just means a biological filtration system, just what it says. These are grass-lined ditches, typically, with a inlet structure and an outlet structure, and they're designed so that they slow down stormwater flow through that grass, filter out pollutants into that uh, swale so that they don't get into water resources downstream. Other recognizable stormwater facilities are storm drains or inlets, which may use sumps or traps to capture debris, along with large ponds or wetlands that collect stormwater and can also provide additional treatment and habitat for waterfowl and other wildlife. There are also less visible systems, such as underground vaults that rely on stormwater treatment cartridges to filter out pollutants. Regardless of the type, all modern stormwater systems are designed to capture, hold, and reduce pollution from urban runoff, and they all need regular maintenance. Local governments are responsible for maintaining public stormwater facilities, but homeowners associations and other property owners may also be responsible for maintenance where private facilities have been installed. Clark County, not counting cities, has more than 800 privately owned and maintained stormwater facilities. There are some homeowners that don't know what happens to stormwater once it leaves their property. In fact, some homeowners in Clark County have a legal responsibility to maintain their stormwater facilities that treat and detain stormwater before it flows into our streams and lakes. Throughout the area, local government staff work closely with stormwater facility owners, offering technical know-how to help solve these kinds of problems. At Wanky Meadows, Clark County officials provided technical expertise and residents provided the labor and money needed to get the job done. That was the uh, bad news, good news. You know, first was us being told the bad news that we needed to take care of it. Then we started working with the county, uh, the maintenance people in particular, and they came out and gave us a lot of good advice. Here's what you need to do. You know, we could have tried to guess at a lot of this, but then we would have still not known if we were in compliance when we got done or not. So it was, it was helpful to have the county come out and say, well, if you do this and you take care of that. Wanky Meadows is a living example of a good stormwater partnership between local government and those responsible for maintaining the private facilities. It's all about working together. When we talk about water quality and stormwater management, we're really talking about pollution prevention. That's ultimately the most effective and least expensive way to keep pollutants out of our surface and groundwaters. And we've found when working with private 
homeowners on maintaining their stormwater facilities. That means technical assistance and outreach. It's important that people stay on top of their facilities maintenance. Neglecting to do regular inspection and maintenance can lead to expensive facility repairs. Depending on the condition of the facility, maintenance could be routine, such as periodic mowing. But if a facility has been neglected for years, it might be clogged with sediment and overgrown with vegetation and require more work. A stormwater facility that meets their code requires only periodic maintenance. Your local city or county will help you with this. They'll offer up uh, free inspection services and help guide you along, give you advice on what needs to be done. The solution here is to try and get all the private HOAs and the stormwater facility owners in compliance through education and outreach, not through legal means, which we have at our disposal if need be, but uh, that is a last resort. Stormwater does not have to be a waste or a nuisance. Some detention ponds can be an asset to beautify an area. For individual property owners, well-maintained rain gardens which manage stormwater before it even leaves the yard are another option to explore. Rain gardens and other new ways of managing stormwater are some of the simple steps we can all take toward reversing decades of environmental degradation. Unfortunately, there are no quick and easy cures to improve stream health. It took us a long time to create this problem and may take even longer to solve it. But the good news is that all of us can help protect our streams by minimizing and even eliminating the impacts of stormwater. Your local governments are doing their part and we need citizens of Clark County to step up and help. It all starts with recognizing the potential threat that poorly managed stormwater poses to the health of our environment and enjoyment of our abundant water resources. We all contribute to the problem and we all need to be part of the solution. Please join your neighbors and your local government in making a commitment to do your share 